Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be providing a long-term market analysis update for Zillica. We'll talk about this very key level that it's currently retesting right around 3.1 cents. This goes all the way back here to the previous market cycle as a key level of support and resistance. We'll cover some weekly moving averages as well as Zillica's performance with respect to Bitcoin by looking at the Zill BTC ratio and the potential for this to be setting up a longer term double bottom right off the support around 96 Satoshis. So if you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, by the way, I will leave a link to my Twitter page in the description below. Feel free to go ahead and check that out as well. I am fairly active over there with crypto content. So Zillica is currently retesting this level right around 3.1 cents. Historically, that was support all the way back here in the end of 2018 during that last bear market. And then we saw that level basically flip into resistance and become a region of supply for almost a few years up until that breakout point that we saw right here in November of 2020. And as soon as Zillica was able to break out above this level, it flipped it right into support right here and then went on that move to the new all-time highs, basically just confirming that bull run, confirming that blow off top phase up into that peak around 25 cents. We also saw this active support all the way here in February 2022, as well as June, up until we broke down right here in October. So there's a lot of price action surrounding this level over the years and generally it has served as some sort of inflection point where anywhere we were above this on the macro it was still looking quite positive and then below it we were just in a bear market or an accumulation phase and we're currently retesting that again over the last few weeks we have seen several wicks coming up to the top of this region and ultimately this is going to be a very key level to watch out for into the next few weeks because again it is that macro inflection point breaking above this would really be a bullish sign and it would make this entire move that we have over the last few months look like some sort of deviation. So potentially if Zillica were able to come back above this, close above it on the weekly chart and hold it as support, then this would all look like a big fake out because a move like this would represent that the price was unable to accept below this level, bears were unable to flip it into resistance, and we really didn't see too much follow through or continuation. But again, that is only if we are able to break out above this level. And until then, this level is still resistance until proven otherwise. We haven't had any retests before this, so this is first the first underside retest that we're having since that breakdown from back here in November. And there is a very realistic possibility that this actually just flips into resistance and we reject off of this. And that would be the scenario in which Bitcoin is say coming back down to retest 20 to $21,000. So that is really the risk behind this weekly chart is that we flip this into resistance after being previous support from back here in 2022. Certainly doesn't have to happen. And especially if Bitcoin is coming back and reclaiming say $24,000 going up to 25, 26, or even 27K, that's going to drag all of the altcoins back up with it. And the general market is just going to trend higher. So in that case, that would be the bullish scenario where, again, I would look for Zillica to form this longer term deviation and fake out below the previous support at 3.1 cents. So I also do want to talk about the 20 week simple moving average, which is going to be this blue line here. And with this, it's really been a good indication of the longer term momentum and the longer term trend. We've seen a few moves coming above the 20 week average in Zillica during this entire bear market. For example, right here in August of 2021, we had a brief move back above it. Same thing in November of 2021. And then we had this spike, of course, in March and April. But notice how none of these moves have been sustainable. Anytime Zillica was able to get back above this, it was quickly shot back down and closed back under the 20 week average during that bear market. And that was really just the name of the game. Again, three times happening during that bear market where it had brief moves above it and then coming right back down to flip it back into resistance. And I say this because we're starting to see the weekly chart come back and close above this for the fourth time during this bear market. Now, if Zillica is able to hold the weekly chart above this level, then we're gonna to start to see that 20 weekly average start to slope back upwards. And you'll notice that during this entire bear market, ever since the peak around April of 2021, the 20 week simple moving average has been averaging down pretty aggressively. It's really seen no periods of sustainable upward slope, except for you know the brief move that we had from this March spike. So if we can start to see that come to some sort of longer term reversal, slope off and start to move back up, that's gonna be a great indication that this longer term momentum has shifted. And if we can start holding it as support instead of just having these brief fake outs, this is gonna gain a lot more momentum to the upside, a lot more confidence for Zillica. And something like this would be the very bullish scenario that I would watch out for. And again, this is certainly on the cards considering that we're starting to see those weekly closes back above the 20 week moving average. And as of right now, we do have about three candle bodies again coming back above that weekly moving average, which is a little bit early considering that we do have 
that as the average amount of time spent above this on the previous three fake outs. So definitely needs more confirmation to develop. And if we do see again, multiple more candles closing above this region on the weekly chart, that's just going to be more and more confirmation that we do have a sustainable break and a sustainable move back above this level. So also do want to talk about the Zillica Bitcoin ratio. And with this, we just have this longer term potential for a double bottom off the support right around 95 Satoshis. We saw that active support from back here in March on this big pivot point leading up into this rally. That was this move right here, almost back up to all time highs. And basically what happened was we had a very slow bleed following that for the next several months up until retesting that support from back here in December. And now we have that active support. We have the bounce off of it and we're coming back to break above this downward sloping trend line. So definitely a little bit different structurally considering that we do have higher highs and higher lows. And again, we're really starting to have more of a pivot point right here off those lows, giving us, giving us the potential for a double bottom pattern. So if we do have some continuation to the upside, look for some of these lower highs that we can have as our targets. And that outperformance is really gonna help out Zillica on the USD pair if we do see some fall through off this double bottom. So if you guys enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, by the way, I will leave a link to my Twitter page in the description below. Feel free to go ahead and check that out as well. I'm fairly active over there. As always, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.